Pakistan's Three Gorges project cost 14 billion US dollars, but China started construction only for 2.75 billion US dollars? In this video, let us learn more about it. China's technological development and economic progress over the years have been tremendous, and its achievements in the field of infrastructure are unparalleled. In recent years, China has also helped many countries build large-scale infrastructure projects, further expanding its international influence. Recent news from Pakistan stated that the construction of the Amobasha Dam, known as Pakistan's Three Gorges Dam, was proceeding in an orderly manner. This dam was built with the help of China and is currently Pakistan's largest hydropower project. It set several world records. The completion of this dam will bring a new round of economic improvement to Pakistan. So what is so special about Pakistan's Three Gorges Dam? What is the deep meaning behind China's decision to build a dam for Pakistan? As we all know, Pakistan is a country extremely short of water. The Indus River is the longest river in Pakistan and the only large water system in its territory, with a total length of more than 2,900 kilometers. The water-rich Indus River has become the key to Pakistan's water security. After the partition of India and Pakistan, the Indus River was jointly used by both countries, and the total water volume of the water system used by Pakistan was 4 out of 5. India has long-standing water disputes with neighboring countries as well as with Pakistan. Due to the possibility of conflict between India and Pakistan, Pakistan has to prevent the water source of the Indus River from being controlled by India. Since signing the Indus River Water Treaty with India in the 1960s, Pakistan has been carrying out water diversion projects in the Indus River Basin and building many dams. Chinese companies have undertaken the construction of many water conservancy projects in Pakistan, such as Mangla Dam, Barota Hydropower Station, Gamozan Hydropower Station, etc. But the most eye-catching one is undoubtedly the recently finalized Dayamo Basha Dam project. Like many water conservancy projects, the Dayamo Basha Dam is a dam located on the Indus River. After completion, it will have a maximum dam height of 272 meters, making it the tallest dam of its type in the world. The total pouring volume will reach 18.6 million cubic meters, exceeding the total pouring volume of the Three Gorges Dam and the highest pouring intensity ranks first in the world. The Dayamo Basha Dam will become Pakistan's largest water conservancy project and the world's tallest and largest roller, compacted concrete dam project. Therefore, it is also known as Pakistan's The Gorges Project. Compared to the attention it has received, the Dayamo Basha Dam has had an unfortunate fate. As early as more than 40 years ago, this project was put on Pakistan's agenda and became a key project that Pakistan prioritized for implementation. However, due to funding issues, construction never started. According to the 2008 budget, its cost reached 12 billion US dollars and later rose to 14 billion US dollars. This amount of money is a huge amount for Pakistan. The Pakistani government cannot afford it alone, so it naturally thinks of the old way of financing. The U.S. Agency for International Development had agreed to provide a $200 million loan for the project. However, considering that the funds required for the entire project may be far more than the budgeted amount, they have been conducting feasibility studies on the dam project, but have yet to reach a conclusion. Moreover, even if a loan of 200 million US dollars is obtained, it will only be a drop in the bucket for the project. Pakistan has turned to the Asian Development Bank, which has provided them with financing. 
However, due to the huge amount of funds, the Asian Development Bank made it clear that it was unable to independently finance the dam project. Coincidentally, the World Bank also stated that it would not assist this project. Seeing that Pakistan's long-awaited dam will continue to be delayed indefinitely, China has extended a helping hand. This event node happens to be a time period when the China-Pakistan economic corridor is progressing smoothly. The two sides agreed that the Dayamo Basha Dam will be included in the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Framework and become part of the China-Pakistan Cooperation Project to build five reservoirs in the Indus River Basin. It is worth mentioning that this is different from the previous model of relying on foreign loans to raise funds for construction. This is the first time that Pakistan has accepted overseas funds to directly invest in a large-scale domestic water conservancy project, which can be called a milestone in China-Pakistan cooperation. But in November 2017, things took another twist. Pakistan has stated that it will reject the 14 billion US dollars, approximately 99.9 billion yuan, funding from the Chinese market for the Dayamo Basha Dam and instead raise its own funds for construction. The reason is said to be that China requires the use of another operating dam as collateral to obtain the project ownership, operation and maintenance costs, and security rights of the Dayamo Basha Dam. In response, China responded that the cooperation between China and Pakistan on the Dayamo Basha Dam has not yet been included in the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Energy Project list, and the competent authorities of the two countries have not yet begun to communicate on the development plan of the dam. The news reported by the Pakistani media is purely false. So what is the real reason? Although there is no definite news, it is obviously inseparable from the dam itself. The Dayamo Basha Dam is located in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, an area disputed between India and Pakistan. It has a special geographical location and an important strategic position. Building a dam here will undoubtedly touch India's sensitive and fragile nerves. The World Bank and Asian Development Bank previously refused to invest because of this consideration. India has always opposed Pakistan's construction of dams on the Indus River. They strongly protested against the construction of Daimul Basha Dam by Pakistan and China in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. India not only accused Pakistan of building a dam on illegally occupied Indian territory, but also claimed that the project would cause large areas of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh to be submerged. India's resistance to China-Pakistan cooperation is innate, especially such a huge dam located in the disputed area between India and Pakistan, which obviously has a more strategic role. This also resulted in Pakistan having no choice but to announce a suspension of receiving aid from China. But the Dayamo Basha Dam is of great significance to Pakistan. How can it not be repaired just because of India's unilateral protest? In fact, India itself has already built many hydropower projects in the upper reaches of the Indus River. Dams such as Nimo Basgo, Dumker and Chutak have been built on the less than 400 kilometers of this river that flows through India. And India is also planning to build more dams, which will affect Pakistan's farmland irrigation and residents' domestic water use. The continued protests in Pakistan are not helping. Fortunately, no matter what the reason was, this setback did not interrupt China-Pakistan cooperation in building the dam. After more than three years, China and Pakistan finally finalized their cooperation on this project in 2020. The contract value is 19.5056 billion yuan, of which Power Construction Group holds 70%. 
On July 15, 2020, the Dayamo Basha Dam held a launching ceremony for the main project. The dam can store about 1 billion cubic meters of water and generate 4.5 million kilowatts of electricity, which can deliver 18 billion kilowatt hours of electricity to the Pakistani national grid. It can provide 16,000 jobs and irrigate 1.2 million acres of farmland. Economic cooperation between China and Pakistan aims to promote local economic development and improve people's livelihood, and is mutually beneficial and win-win. Under such circumstances, it can be said that it is logical for Pakistan to restart cooperation with China. The China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is of increasing significance to Pakistan. As part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Framework, the dam will only promote China-Pakistan cooperation, bring win-win results to both parties, and become the most ideal solution for Pakistan. It is worth noting that the total contract value this time has dropped significantly compared with 2017, 14 billion US dollars. The contract value is only equivalent to 2.75 billion US dollars. Why is there such a big difference? There is a concept of preliminary project costs and actual costs. There are many upfront costs, including the need to resettle Pakistani people affected by the construction of the dam, a series of infrastructure construction and related equipment and facilities. Excluding these upfront project costs, the actual funds used for dam construction are approximately 7 billion US dollars. Some people may have questions. There is still a huge difference between 7 billion US dollars and 2.75 billion US dollars. Will China lose money? In fact, China Pakistan cooperation is by no means limited to this dam. Dayamo Basha Dam is also part of the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Plan. Based on the traditional friendship between China and Pakistan and the increasingly close economic and trade exchanges, the idiom returning a favor in return can explain everything. The smooth progress of the Dayamo Basha Dam tells us that all projects of China-Pakistan cooperation are carried out based on the principle of mutual benefit for both parties and are not pushed forward unilaterally by China. The construction of the Dayamo Basha Dam has been Pakistan's long-cherished wish for more than 40 years. It is wise to cooperate with China and is a manifestation of the traditional friendship between China and Pakistan. Once completed, the dam will also become a landmark in China-Pakistan friendship. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.